Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to use and turn one of my papers into a textured paper and give it a slightly different twist on just being a flat background paper. I'm using the new tonic crystal drops. Um, for the lilac paper I'm using the lilac colour from um, tonic which is called Wisteria Purple and that matches my lilac papers perfectly. So what I've done is I've printed off a sheet of my lace lattice paper. As you can see it's an A4 backing paper. If you click on the link below it'll take you directly to where you can purchase the paper pack. So as it is it's a flat backing paper which looks great very versatile, you can ink it, watercolour it, pay, um, paint it, etc. Use it layer on layer with lots of other papers that I've designed. However, I wanted to give it some texture. So what I've done is I've used the crystal drops in between the lace centres. don't know if you can see that as it's picking it up on the camera. So in every lace centre, I've dropped a pearl drop. And this is how I did it. I literally started to go from one end, like so, lift up. I dot the pearl drops onto the paper. I don't touch the paper, I just lift straight up. And I keep going along in a row until I get to the end. And I build up so a little bit of momentum get to the end and I come back to the beginning and I start again at this end so make a, you can pick that up like so and I just I don't touch the paper I just let the dropper do all the work for me so the other thing that I did was, because I wanted to show you how it would look in different colours. This is the sampler sheet from the paper kit. This is the cerise of the lace lattice. This is the dark tea. On the cerise I've used the pink, dark cerise pink of the crystal drops that match. And then I've used on the dark tea, there's a vintage green that matches. Buttermilk matches into the burnt orange and then for the red I've actually I've gone a little bit wayward here and I've used the silver, I've used the gold with the green to make it really Christmassy and then for the pale blue I've used dark blue and it just gives a different effect than to have a flat background paper because when I design background papers, I always think, what can I do with them? What, what will I use them for? Will I cut them up? Will I add ink? Will I add pearl drops? Will I do this? Will I do that? Because I want a background paper to do more than just be a paper. I want it to be able to work for me and to be able to do lots of things rather than just think, oh, I can only use that as a background paper. So this, this way, it gives it a little bit of texture and you don't have to put the pearl drops all over you could just put them at the side of the sentiment or you could just pick out a little bit of the pattern for something like this is the inking and tonal sheet from the paper kit from the lace lattice so what you could do is just add them around the edge you could just add them if you put a sentiment in the middle of your card you could just put them around the sentiment so that it is very versatile and there's lots of things that you can do with it. And I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again.